Hi guys, thank you for joining me for another shave and scent of the day. Hope everyone is well out there. Hope everyone is practicing social distancing so we can hopefully beat this thing. Um, today, grooming department, Mallard Chai. Beautiful, beautiful chai scent. Sit right there, starting to get the tiny ring of death there, but still a lot of shaves left in here. So that's the soap today, and using the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Prismatic with a Gillette Nasset. And this is the second use on the Nasset. Um, I'll be honest, I wasn't real impressed um, with the Nasset the first time, but you know, one try doesn't give the whole story, so we're going to give it another go. Brush today, Big Bruce from Razor Rock. Beautiful brush, very economical. I'm going to finish with a different tea scent. I'm going with Cheshire from uh, Barrister and Man. And then I'm going to finish off being Ultra with Jean-Paul Gaultier Ultra Male. Just a little bit, but I need some. It's kind of cold here today. We actually got another snow last night. No, not another snow. Yes, we got another one. So let's get going here. I need a haircut badly. I'm hoping that that happens, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to get one or not. I've got one coming up here in like a week, I think. But I don't know if people are doing any, any hairdressing right now. So we'll see. Otherwise, I'm going to end up with a ponytail on the top. Really nice, creamy soap here. I love this. It's supposed to be a new version of the Mallard base coming out, uh, I think, in April. And wait for that. The, the Mallards uh, tend to be gourmand scents. Um, which, you know, I'm not a huge gourmand, gourmand person, but I certainly do love the tea scents. So we'll see what Mo comes up with this time around. This chai is awesome. Get a nice load of cardamom. Um, ginger, obviously a tea scent, cinnamon, just wonderful, wonderful stuff. Get a little alum on my fingers, just rub it on here for extra grip. I know those of you that have watched some of mine see that I do this every time. So I just made a paste with the soap. Now I'm getting the paste on my face as much as I can and then I'll start adding water to hydrate it. I believe I've got four days growth, I think, three or four days growth. I just dip the brush in water and start getting that into my lather or into my paste right now. And I just keep repeating this process until I get the lather as hydrated as I want.
It's already starting to get shiny, but I know it will hold more water. And once I start flinging off lather left and right, I know I'm pretty much there. Beautiful lather. Got just tons of it on the brush here too. All right, once again, Prismatic Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements and a Nasset Take Two. I found the Gillette Nasset to be a little, um, I don't know, just a little rough. I mean, it felt plenty sharp, but it just didn't feel really smooth on my skin. But I'm giving it a fair shake again and giving it another go. I know a lot of people really love this blade. Sometimes blades that are really good still give kind of a rough first shave. We'll see if maybe that was the case. I love the sound of this razor. Some beautiful audible feedback. Sounds like it's singing to me. Beautiful purse past. It's got most of the hair off there. It did not feel rough for that first pass. However, I had a ton of hair on there.
headed to work after this shave today. Headed to the front lines. I work in a hospital, for those of you that don't know, I'm a I'm the head dietitian. Which means I'm going in to fight malnutrition. I love it. It really is a wonderful field for me. I went to culinary school before getting my undergrad and master's in nutrition. Um, so I feel like that gave me that the um, culinary school gave me a really good background in food, um, which therefore helps me when I'm trying to help people with their diets. It's hard to prescribe nutrition interventions for people if you don't really know how to cook. You can give people numbers of things and servings and all that that you should do, but if you don't know how to incorporate any of those foods, um, it's kind of hard to get your client to do that as well. I don't do a lot of that kind of thing in the hospital. Um, but I feel like that's something that you should know. I feel like it should be a requirement. So far, a much better experience with this Nasset. And now I can't remember which razor I used it in last. Another thing we do as dietitians, which is kind of on the front line now, is people on ventilators. We do the recommendations for whatever uh, tube feeding formula, because I mean, you still got to eat. Even though you're out of it, you still got to get your food in. So we do that kind of thing as well, as well as like GM, GI patients with, you know, blockages, any of that kind of thing. Um, if you can't feed um, into the gut or into the GI tract, you have to do what's called total parenteral nutrition, TPN, um, which is feeding directly into the vein or, you know, directly, directly into the bloodstream. And we do calculations for that as well. So a lot of stuff. I think it's a, a very exciting field. And, you know, it's still relatively in its infancy, you know, in regards to medicine. But there's a... Uh, a lot of good research going on out there. I love being a part of that.
all this talking to you guys. I don't even know where I am anymore. <laughs> I don't know what passes I've done, what I haven't, but it's feeling pretty good. So I'd say I'm, I'm getting through it. A lot on my mind this morning. It's kind of scary going back into work. You know, not necessarily for me, but I've got two young children and a wife to come to home to. Scared to think of bringing the sickness to my family. Trying to isolate at work as much as I can while still getting my work done. And please, any of you that can help by staying home and, you know, slowing down the spread, please take that time with your families, with your children, or with yourself. And uh, just put in some quiet time, get some rest, relax, be ready to get at it once this thing is gone. At this point, it's your civil duty. any of you out there watching this are sick, I hope I can provide you with a few minutes of entertainment. And I hope you get well soon. this soap. Beautiful. We're there. Actually, I'm going to do one more little pass on my neck. There we go. There's always that little leftover. Now we're there. Little alum on here. Much better feeling blade than the second go around. Get my brush cleaned out here. My wife used um, Ariana and Evan's Asian pear yesterday, and she loved it. Wonderful unisex scent, super slick, really great post shave, really great residual slickness.
wonderful soap if you guys haven't tried that out yet. I would certainly encourage you to. Yeah, I'll get this alum off. Now we're taking a little fresher turn on the tea scent with Cheshire. Cheshire! Ooh! Mm hmm. That bergamot. Mmm. And I believe the tea scent comes from um, a mixture of clary sage and lavender. I believe is how they make the tea scent. Boy. Ooh, that is some good stuff. It's a great soap that goes, that matches, goes with that as well. And I love it. All right, it's cold outside. I'll get a little Nivea balm. Just about that much, not very much. Soaks in pretty quickly. Get my crow's feet. And does fighting malnutrition make me a super male, an ultra male? Ultra male. Jean-Paul Gaultier. This uh, can get a little over, a little overbearing if you spray too much, but I'm just gonna get small sprays in there. Oh boy, it's rich, sweet. Oh man, that's a great scent. Thank you guys for joining me. Thank you for listening to me rant about the coronavirus um, and about my job. Thank you so much for your support, and I'll catch you on the next shave. Be well.